right, so this is the second example in the uh, composition of functions uh, videos. Uh, so these functions are a little bit more complicated than what we worked with in the, the first example. So f of x is going to be the square root of x, and g of x is going to be the square root of 2 minus x. Okay, so we're going to find these four composite functions again, f of g, g of f, f of f, and g of g. And then we'll talk about their domains. Okay, the domains here are a little bit more complicated. Just remember that square root of x, uh, x here has to be non-negative, and 2 minus x, that expression has to be non-negative because they're underneath um, a square root. Okay, so let's find f of g first. Okay, so we know f of g of x. We know those notations now. So I'm going to take g of x here, and I'm going to plug it into function f. So I'm going to find f of the square root of 2 minus x. Okay, so I'm going to take this radical 2 minus x, and I'm going to replace it here for x. Okay, so I get the square root of the square root of 2 minus x. Okay, so when you've got consecutive square roots here, it ends up actually being a fourth root. Okay, so it's the fourth root of 2 minus x. Okay. Um, if you think back to uh, the rules for radicals that we went over earlier in the year, this square root would be to the one-half power, this square root would be to the one-half power. When you multiply those two, you get one-fourth, and that's why we have a fourth root of this expression, 2 minus x. Okay. Now, this domain, 2 minus x, remember, has to be non-negative. Okay. So we want to set it greater than or equal to zero, and when we solve that, we get our domain is x is going to be less than or equal to 2, okay? And we can also use this notation uh, from negative infinity to 2, including 2, okay? All right, so that's f of g. Let's find g of f. So g of f, so I'm going to find g of square root of x, okay? So I'm going to replace this x with a radical x, and that gives me the square root of 2 minus radical x, okay? Nothing else I can do there uh, right now. Okay, now the domain here is a little bit more complicated, okay? The first thing I'm going to talk about, this square root of x, remember, uh, this x would have to be non-negative, okay? So the domain for that part is x is greater than or equal to 0, okay? The domain for this whole part, this 2 minus radical x, has to be non-negative. And when I solve that, okay, when I solve 2 minus radical x greater than or equal to 0, I get x has to be less than or equal to 4, okay? So this part of the domain is x is greater than or equal to 0. This part of the domain is x is less than or equal to 4. The domain of this composite function is going to be the intersection of those two domains, okay? So here x is greater than or equal to 0. Here x is less than or equal to 4. So what they have in common in their domain is x between 0 and 4 inclusive, okay? That's why we use the brackets here, from 0 to 4 inclusive, okay? So that's the domain for g of f. So this only works from 0 to 4, okay? All right, f of f. So we're going to find f of f. So that means we're going to find f of radical x. So I'm going to plug in a radical x here for this x. So it means I've got a radical radical x, or the square root of the square root of x, okay? And just like we did up here in purple, these back-to-back -back radicals become a fourth root, so it's going to be the fourth root of x, right? Well, this one's the easiest domain here. Um, we've got an even root for x, so x has got to be non-negative, okay? So my domain is x is greater than or equal to 0, okay? And finally, g of g, okay? So... I'm going to take this function, and I'm going to plug it in right here for x. So I've got uh, g of radical 2 minus x. So when I plug that in, I get 2 minus the square root of 2 minus x, okay? Again, nothing really I want to do there, so we'll, we'll call that the answer. Let me scroll down a little bit, okay? The domain here, the domain for this piece, okay, we've already found here, uh, square root of 2 minus x. That would be that part right there. So that part of the domain is going to be x is less than or equal to 2. Okay, we used that before. The domain for the whole thing here, again, we're going to set 2 minus the square root of 2 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. And when we solve that, I'm not going to go through that process here. When we solve that, we get x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, so the domain for this composite function would be the intersection of those two 
which is from negative 2 to positive 2. So x is between negative 2 and positive 2, inclusive, okay? Because negative 2 and positive 2 are included, we use brackets in our interval notation here, okay? So a little more complicated. Uh, domain probably be the hardest part there. Um, but take your time and find the domain of each of the little pieces and then put those together.